A major bridge collapse in Baltimore. The Francis Scott Key Bridge was apparently hit by a container ship. The video shows the massive steel structure and multiple vehicles falling into the river. Multiple people also fell into the water. We're told overnight work was being done on the bridge at the time of the collision. Maryland authorities have all lanes of traffic closed in both directions. Today, the Supreme Court is hearing arguments in a case that could affect the most common type of abortions in the U.S. It is likely the most important abortion case since the justices overturned Roe v. Wade. The plaintiffs argue the FDA broke the law by letting patients get mefepristone through the telehealth and the mail. Some drug makers say they worry the case could set a precedent for more legal challenges to FDA approvals. Former President Donald Trump was given more time to post a massive bond while he appeals the ruling in a New York civil fraud trial. The appeals court gave him 10 more days to come up with the money and cut the amount to $175 million. Meanwhile, in a separate criminal case, a judge dismissed Trump's motion to delay the trial further. Jury selection in the hush money case involving Stormy Daniels is now expected to start April 15. Sales of new homes slowed down a bit last month. The Commerce Department says sales on newly built homes dropped 0.3 percent. The median price for a new house also pulled back to its lowest level in more than two and a half years. Major changes at Boeing. The CEO, David Calhoun, announced he'll step down at the end of the year. The head of Boeing Commercial Planes Unit is out immediately, and the chairman of the board announced he won't run for re-election. Boeing has been under pressure since a door panel on a relatively new jet blew out mid-flight earlier this year. Nissan is looking to put a lot of new cars on the road. The car maker now says it wants to launch 30 new models over the next three years. More than half of them will be all electric vehicles or plug-in hybrids. It is also boosting its sales goal by a million vehicles. A dollar won't go quite as far at Dollar Tree. The company now says it will increase its maximum price at stores to seven bucks this year. A $5 cap was put in place just last summer. This comes after the company announced it would close hundreds of stores over the coming years. The Powerball jackpot continues to grow. There was no grand prize winner in last night's drawing. The jackpot is now around $865 million. Your next chance to win Powerball is tomorrow night. Meanwhile, the even bigger Mega Millions jackpot drawing is tonight. That jackpot is at $1.1 billion. Jeremy Sohan and Devin Vassell led the Spurs to victory last night against the Suns. Sohan hit a key three-pointer in the final minutes as the Spurs beat the Suns 104-102. Sohan finished with 26 points and a career-high 18 rebounds. Vassell finished with 26 points. The team got the win without superstar Victor Wimbenyama, who was sidelined due to an ankle injury he suffered in Saturday's game against the Suns. And that's today's 9 at 9.